Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to explode MIDI items by note in Reaper. Now, what's the purpose of this? Let's say you record a MIDI part, typically drums, and you want to separate the MIDI performance by each instrument. Maybe a kick or a snare a hi-hat, you want them on separate tracks. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start by making a new track right here. Insert virtual instrument on new track. Then we'll go down here to a drum machine, which looks like this. And I could play it with a MIDI keyboard like this. So let's put down a part so we can quickly split it or explode it based on the MIDI notes. We're going to record with the metronome on. That should be good enough. And we can double click it to open the MIDI editor, which looks like this. Over here, we can see our kick our snare, our clap, our closed hi-hat, and the open hi-hat, obviously on different keys. So now we want to split this up into different tracks. Maybe we want to edit the velocities on the hi-hat separately. It's kind of difficult to do in this one window with all the other MIDI notes in the same editor. So we could do this by first duplicating our track, right-click it, Duplicate tracks, make the second one a folder like this. We can mute this item right here, double click this one, and then right click all the MIDI notes we don't want in this track, like our snare, and that selects all of them, and just delete them. Our clap, our hi hat, and the open hi hat. So now we just have a kick on this track. And we can keep doing the same thing with each note, but there's a much quicker way. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Let's delete this one. And instead, let's just right click on this item and go down here to item processing. Then we can go over here to explode MIDI item by note row or pitch. And that's going to separate by track every note that we actually hit. So if we choose this, Reaper creates a different track for every note or every pitch in our drum part. And then it mutes the original. I don't really need this one, so I'll just delete it. But right here, we have a kick. And this one's a snare. A clap. A closed hat, and finally the open hat. But in this situation, I want to put the hi hats together because I want to adjust the velocities on the same track. So, what I can do in that situation is go to my menu under options and make sure trim content behind media items when editing is turned off. And I can just grab this one and move it up, and both items are on the same track. And select them both by double clicking the track, right click, glue them. Now, both hi hats, the open and closed, are in the same item. So I could delete this track, open this one up, and here's my hi hats. So, right from here, I could edit the velocity of each one of them. Maybe I want to change the volume of the accented ones against these to create more of this pattern. Create more accents. That's a lot easier to do in a separate editor. And we could use it for so many other things, like changing the plugin or instrument for each sound, quantizing each drum to a different value or grid, or automating each drum separately from the others. And when we're done with this, all we have to do is drag each one of them back to the same track, select them all on that track, and then just glue it. 
and it's all back to the same item, like this. So that's pretty much it. That's exporting MIDI items by note in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!